Welcome to the Seller Roundtable e-commerce coaching and business strategies with Andy Arnott and Amy Wees. So if people don't know, WeChat is kind of the WhatsApp slash messenger for people in China. Um, they do all kinds of stuff on there. Like uh, they'll, they'll pay with stuff through that. Um, it's all kinds of uh, interesting stuff that they, they do with that app over there. Um, how, uh, how could you tell like when you're, when you're in the Canton fair, what company is a factory? What, you know, what's a, what are serious companies? What are kind of these like fly by night operations? Um, and things like that. Like how, how did you know how to get to the cream of the crop? And, and a follow up kind of to that question is, were you able, like, how, is there any way to like squeeze out, like, you know, like who's manufacturing for uh, Nike or, you know, is there any ways to like see what the big brands are doing and then find out like what factories they're using and then try to go after those factories? Well, I'll start with your big brands question, because let me tell you, they, if there's, if they are a manufacturer for a big brand, they proudly display that in their booth. They put Walmart on there. They put, you know, one of the, um, I was looking for some bags in phase three and one of the suppliers I talked to is like, oh yeah, we make bags for GNC. And so they, they proudly, you know, talk about that. And, um, and you know, they're very, it's, it's very open and often in their, in their catalogs, they'll have, you know, the brands, big brands that they, uh, that they supply for because it's a, it's a matter of pride, right. right. Um, and quality. So, uh, and also Walmart and some of the larger retailers, they have very strict certification requirements. So that if that manufacturer has passed those stringent certification requirements you'll see walmart really big on their sign because you know they've passed those certification requirements yeah and then as far as your question about how do you vet suppliers so i know a lot of the times in our groups we see questions like what's a factory what's a trading company should i use a trading company Basically, what you're you're going to be able to tell um, a factory is going to make one or two kind of products. Um, a trading company is going to have a whole line. So I was looking at I was talking to a supplier of fitness stuff, and I asked him. I said, "Hey, there's nothing wrong with just asking them. Hey, are you a factory or a trading company?" And uh, he said, "Oh, I'm a trading company." You know, and it was obvious. But sometimes they will say that they are um, a they, they'll say they're a factory because they work with a partner factory, even though they're genuinely a trading company. So what you can do is you can uh, have a, there's also legal services there at the fair, uh, but, or if you just know somebody in China, they can basically look up that, um, that company in the trade directory in the business directory for China. And you can make sure that they are um, legit, that they're, they are who they say they are that, um, that you can check on them, whether they're a factory or a trading company. And then also with experience, you're going to learn the questions to ask. Like I was talking to one of what I thought was a potential supplier and they told me they were a factory and I was asking them all the questions from our book, like, Hey, you know, um, how many people work at your factory and where are you located? And they answered all those questions. And of course I sent Steven the bulldog behind me and said, Hey, stop by this booth. I think they might have a potential, be a good supplier for our product. And he meets me later in another booth and he's like, yeah, that was a trading company. You didn't push them hard enough. So, you know, I'm learning from the, from the, the magi. Right? <laughs> so, um, you know, definitely um, for me, this was the first time communicating outside of talking with, you know, on Alibaba and stuff like that. So I had a lot to learn from the more experienced um the more experienced guy there, Steven, my partner. So the, the Jedi master of sourcing. Exactly. Exactly. So, uh, but you know, our participants got to, Steven would actually go in the booth with them and negotiate for them. So our participants got to learn like firsthand. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Those are the questions I should be asking. So even though we prepared them ahead of time and we gave them book, it's still overwhelming. And you don't know, you know, what you're, you don't know what you don't know. And, uh, and so it was just a really cool experience to go through that together and, and learn that. But bottom line, guys and girls, is just do your due diligence. Okay. Make sure that if you feel really good about, uh, 
factory trading company, whatever, you're asking those questions. You know, they shouldn't be shy to tell you about their factory, about how long they've been in business, all that stuff. They should be very proud of that. And then go ahead and look them up. There's plenty of um, Chinese business directories to do that. Thanks for tuning in. Join us every Tuesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time for live Q&A and bonus content after the recording at sellerroundtable.com. Sponsored by the ultimate software tool for Amazon sales and growth, sellerseo.com and amazingathome.com.